What up, what up, Wheatfield, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome, welcome to you. If you new, if you new, hey, come on in here. Welcome to you too. This is your girl, Lati, here at Tears and Wheat Tarot Show, where you show enough, never know what you're gonna get. I'm feeling a di different type of energy right now in the moment. Um, got another download while I was watching another one of my tarot readers, you know, the spiritual savage. And uh, that's my spiritual bro, as I call him. Um, and of course, as I'm uploading videos and stuff like that, I do everything from my phone. I have to keep my phone active. And as I'm uploading, um, to keep my phone active, I usually go watch something else, you know. So, while I was kind of, you know, perusing and see what I was going to watch here, yeah, to see uh, what I was going to watch, I kind of uh, came across his, one of his recent uploads. I think maybe he did it like three days ago or something. It just came across my feed. And I was like, okay, I'm going to check this out. Because I haven't checked him out in a, in a couple of days or whatever. So, kind of just hadn't even been into row or nothing like that for a little bit of a minute. Kind of taking a little bit of a back, pulling back, whatever. And uh, he said something that... Uh, triggered me and as soon as he said it it just hit me with the download I was like oh snap like um I feel energy coming in I feel a message for your shall we stop and read and spirit said yes so of course we're gonna stop and we're gonna read so just so happened that my message had got uh the one that I had just posted and look I see um this windmill but it's a five and the windmill is in reverse and I always think about this like energy, you know, draining. And maybe I got the whole deck upside down. Maybe I set it down upside down. But either way, it's still upside down. I turned it right side up. And it, it is. It's reversed. And then, I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. So we see hermit. We see judge, adjudication. A symphony conductor, like somebody's orchestrating something behind the scenes. And whatever was being orchestrated behind the scenes, I don't know if y'all can see this. Oh, fortune. We got somebody look like nastiness or with the truth or whatever. Or somebody was coming behind you. It looked like it's over with. Maybe something to do with fortune or whatever your destiny or fortune was, I see. And we see the conductor is there. So something about de destiny orchestration, you know, somebody maybe was coming towards you in that energy. And we see judgment, like adjudication. We see hermit energy upside down. So somebody is not really tapped in. If they is, it's like in a reverse negative kind of way. And I see judgment to that. Definitely see the spirit with the temperance angel here, you know. A protector I see judgment being called again that's double like adjudication is here and then judgment from the spirit so not only do I see judgment on a physical plane but I also see judgment in the spiritual plane and then I see taking flight with the plane like transporting location or flying above you know or flying through um, away from a circumstance, maybe something, because I see the dark clouds. It looks like it's behind the plane, like it's flying to uh, calmer airs or a brighter day or something like that. And then we had the windmill, but it was actually in reverse. And windmills is kind of like, to me, it's like that generation of energy. So maybe somebody is not able to generate energy or they feel depleted or moving away took all of their energy. Or maybe they won't have to put out a lot of energy. But I feel like somebody um, is moving away from something. Uh, kind of like a, yeah, I just got a pain right here. Like an arrow, like you've been uh, stabbed or shot or something like that, you know. Um, 
Yeah, look at this. It's the fool, and it flew out in the reverse. It hit the table upside down. So somebody took did something risky, something like uh, a miscalculated risk. I hear. Look again, hermit upside down. So I hear a lack of introspection or they didn't go in and connect with the spirit or they just not seeing inside of themselves. They're not looking at themselves, but somebody is or something is under judgment. Is there anything else in here? No. Look. Whatever was happening to somebody, we see it looks like bullying. Yeah, and something. Okay. What is that? Time is up because the hourglass is in reverse. We see somebody running from something, somebody that's been on their ass, or somebody is now has, I hear spirit is on their ass about something. Somebody is getting ready to get a spiritual ass kicking. And we see an accounting or an accountant, something to do with money, something to do with banking, something alone. I hear a check that your ass can't cash. Like somebody wrote a check that they don't have sufficient, I hear insufficient funds. Like they are out of energy, they are out of time, they are out of energy. They are no longer able to bully somebody. Are they able to bully? No, they're no longer able to bully somebody. And if you did have to watch your back or look over your shoulder, that is over. Like somebody, you know, had somebody standing behind them, but I don't know if she's, if this person is stalking her. That's what it feels like to me with that bully card right behind them. Like somebody was either watching or stalking or following or some sort of energy. Key here. Spirit. Is this supposed to be on the table? Is that an energy? Yeah, look. The devil in reverse. Toxicity in reverse. So maybe something about you finding the key to reversing this toxicity. And so all of that um, was kind of like, is that right? Kind of. Did they find the key? I hear given. They were given the key. Yes, they were given the key. Okay, so I feel the sword of truth, like truth, like divine inspiration, divine clarity, a divine truth was revealed, uh, something, a divine truth was revealed onto you, we, and it was the key to reversing this toxicity. Did you want this? Yes, look. It's like you were given a blueprint or something was shown to you. You were taught something from the spirit that's going to give you the ability to triumph over it. Over whatever this devil toxicity was, you were able to reverse it. You were given the key. You were taught the key. You were shown. I just hear taught. Taught the key. All right. All right. So that goes back to what I was saying. I was getting a download because... Um, Spiritual Savage, he say, uh, he used the acronym. He says, he said, ho as ninjas, ho as ninja stuff, right? So I took that and instead of hearing ho as ninja stuff, I was saying, I, ho I heard ho as nasty shit. And so I was like, uh, I feel that, like, definitely some nastiness and something that's been going on for a minute with the knight of pentacles like it's been steady you know either you steadiness is up underneath the key so maybe you'll be able to move forward steady but i feel like somebody had been under attack spiritually for a while the lovers in three of cups lovers energy Three of Cups energy. And it's pointing to one person. 
It's something about this. Can I show? Is there something else you want to get now? I see this person in a yellow dress. And the way that they are holding this cup. They all are holding the cup. Like two people seem to be holding the cup straight up. But she's holding the cup kind of out and up. And the way that the cup is hold, going out and up. It's almost like it's in the face of somebody else. Yeah, justice. Justice. We saw justice here, judgment, adjudication. Justice is in the reverse for somebody, for this one person that's in a yellow dress. Anything else in here? No. Two of Cups. It's three people, but it's two that's righteous in the upright, and it's one that's in the, in the low vibrational. Two of Cups, lovers, two people that's in the upright. And we got somebody healed that needed healing. And they went off. Six of swords. Moving to calmer waters after a tower. They learned something. Held up in the hangman. Having to defend themselves against something. An empress juggling or was being juggled. And they had some heartbreak. Like some problems, some distress, something that was emotional. And look, there's the judgment being called. And we saw that. I saw it called out the horn in the other day. Judgment. And here's the wheel of fortune. Fortune. This five of cups is not giving me remorse. It's giving me envy. It's giving me envy. It's something with this chick. You see how she got the... They got their cup up straight up. She got hers pretty much straight up. But this one is out. And it's almost kind of crossing over in front of somebody's face. Almost like, you know, either she trying to block something or just show off something. But whatever it is, it's some negative energy. Ending. Transformation. Ending to whatever that has been going on for quite a long time. And we see a partnership, the lovers, and we see the hermit. But I definitely feel like in reverse. Because that's this hermit right here that's in reverse. Can y'all see this? Put this down some more. That's that hermit that's right here that's in reverse. Behind that is the knight of wands. Somebody impulsive. You know, was doing something impulsively. Two of cups that don't go right there. Put this back the way that it was. <sighs> okay. I feel like it's a third party or either this is a group of friends or this is a, a couple that has another person involved. You know, I don't know if this person is actually involved with the couple where maybe she wants to be or they want to be. You know, somebody that um, is maybe looking at your situation and wanting to uh, interrupt the celebration. Like, almost like their offering is fake, is what I feel. I feel like it's some whole-ass nasty shit that's going on. Like, this person is all up in the face or in the mix of what it is that y'all got going on and they're not supposed to be or they're trying to interject themselves into a situation that they really shouldn't be interjecting in because this is a two of cups lover situation and i'm just picking up again you can see her and everybody i got my cup up a hey, this person right here she got her cup up like a hey, like yeah get it and this person right here you see their arm is stretched out the cup is either in their face or their arm is like blocking their viewpoint either way it's like blocking their connection is what i feel it's like an interruption or an interjection in the connection So, again, I heard Hines, like, hoe-ass nasty shit. And I feel like this hoe is on some nasty shit. My bad, but that's how I feel it. Thank you to the Alpha and to the Omega that is here. Bring it forth this message. You step out in front of me and bring this message about this person. Is this person trying to interrupt a two-a-cup situation? Yes. 
Is she trying to come? Are they, she, he, whoever, trying to come in between these lovers? Yes. Creating strife. Yeah, the chariot. We saw the plane. Somebody is moving or being moved or they refuse to move. How is that? Somebody wants to move. I hear in on a situation. Four Swords is here healing. Meditation. We got that devil energy right back. Devil energy. Six of Cups. This is a I hear a friend of y'all, a friend, and nine of wands, the, again, defensiveness had to take place. Your union is under spiritual attack. I think that your union is divinely guided, again, with that fortune and the law of attraction deck. I feel like, um, is it, correct me. The union is ordained. Third party wants to cause strife. Exerting their influence. Causing issues and complications. They are really envious about your connection. But you found a key, or you've been given a key. Is that right? There's something else. They are desiring. I hear covetous. Desiring. They are desiring your life. And I said, mate, spouse, spirit said no. They are desiring your life. They think that you have something that they want. And they are holding up their cup like they are coming to drink with you or celebrate with you. Almost like um, display, display their cup and their accomplishments and achievements, but put it out in the front of like a face or like a distraction. Like it's a mask. Like almost wanting to uh show i hear like match worthiness like match worthiness but it's a distraction it's a way to come between you and another person because the way the arm was stretched out not like clinking up like we we're gonna all toast up their cup is distracting is blocking the two that really have something truly in common I don't know, is this lovers or is it friends? No, is it a lover situation? Again, I feel like a spouse, a couple, and this person wants to come in between that. Look, betrayal. They want to come in between. But somebody has found out, a, found out about what this is, and this person has been acting in this energy for a while. This is some whole ass nasty ass shit. This hoe is on some nasty shit. Is that right, Alpha? Yeah, call it what it is. It is what it is. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. Anything else in here? No. Any energy? Yes, please bring it forward. What would you like to clarify? The Six of Cups. Knight of Spears. That's the Knight of Pentacles. It's been happening for a long time. You've been knowing this person for a long time. This is not somebody you just met. No, you've been knowing them for a long time since childhood, I feel. Like some family. This is somebody in your family. That has, that's envious. And I hear not only envious of your lifestyle, but envious of your, your marriage, of your life, of everything. And they always probably want to throw up their stuff in your face. 
just to show off. But really, it's kind of like a way to entice somebody. Page of Cups is in reverse. My deck is upside down. Maybe that's what it is. Um, yeah, Page of Cups. Maybe this person is going to want to apologize for whatever they did in attempting to come between you, I feel, and your husband. Um, it's, it's, cause you said it ain't no more energy. Do you want this page on the table? Most high. Is this an apology? No. Why do I feel like they still, is that that one cup? Some, look, fortune, karma, the wheel of fortune. This person is about to get karma for what they did. Yeah, this is toxic. This is karma. What is this page of cups? Will you reveal on to us? Is it in this deck? No. Queen of Wands though this is somebody that kind of is this the, the couple no who is this oh this is old oh, girl this whole ass chick that is uh maybe the nine of wands somebody is being defensive against her uh attractiveness or you know this or spell work yeah Cause see, Queen of Wands is can is not only attractive, but I feel that she she knows uh, she's into spirituality. This person is into spirituality, and they into into toxic type of spirituality. I think whatever it is that they're doing, they've been doing it for a long time, and I think they're trying to come into because they're covetous. They're covetous about your life. They're covetous about your relationship and what you have acquired. You know your fortune, your destiny, your blessings. They have, and and you have somehow found a key to defeating this person to block or defend yourself with this nine of wands to kind of end to it because you maybe have recognized what they've been doing. They did be coming in with small offers, almost like bread crummy type of shit. But it's been more so just like to to block type of um their purpose is to be to block you and your connections whether it's a loving connection with somebody else a spouse they may have been trying to tempt your spouse to get them to pull them away from you especially with this ten of swords here somebody may have been trying to sneak your spouse what is the four of swords and the page of cups will you reveal on to us spirit yes what shall we do the four of swords Maybe you were sleeping on it. Maybe you were resting on it. Maybe you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, the six of wands fell out on the floor. That's victory and success. That's public recognition. You know, maybe again, this person, his strength is in reverse. We, we got to straighten this out because we just dropped all of this. We see King of Swords, the Emperor, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Maybe this person, again, is just really envious of your life. Maybe stuff just hasn't worked out for them. You know what I mean? And I see um, the King of, of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody may not be the Lovers in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Chariot, the Devil, the Magician, Pent all of this is in reverse. Let's get it turned around. I'm not going to read none of it because it just seems like it's just probably a spill. Or it's just a lot of energy that pushed it on the floor. Like, wow. Two of Wands, plans in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. The bottom card was the Page of Cups. Or the top card, Page of Cups, was in reverse. This person don't have no real love for you. I feel like it's very immature. Again, it's very young. It's very immature. You know, they very immature in their emotions. You know, and I feel like this person is not only envious, but they are um, just on some nasty ass shit, yo. I'm telling you. Look, this it just keep pushing out. The high priestess in reverse. It was upside down though. 
this queen of wands is a practitioner in some sort of way we see the lovers king of wands so maybe your dude your person or your spouse um is somebody that's attractive queen of pentacles you know maybe this person sees their money and or or you you know are successful in some sort of way maybe this person wants to take a risk or they feel like things just come together for y'all like no matter what because ten of pentacles is here so it's like maybe y'all relationship is highly successful and no matter what y'all do it always kind of works out it just seems like it comes easy like you just kind of you know foolishly not foolishly but like um joyously moving through life you know like you don't need to look out like you just go for it you can take the risk and it always turns out well you know but i feel like this person is again somebody that you guys have known for a very long time ten of cups you guys have a great family situation a great relationship and this person is very envious of your relationship they are upset that things tend to just seem to always work out for you no matter what you do you can just take the risk and go yeah and it's been like that forever ever since they known you right and they have a hard time like either moving forward in their life or maybe they have uh are trying to hold you back in some sort of way we saw the plane where you kind of flying towards clearer skies but maybe this person doesn't want you to maybe they want to hold you back but they're definitely up underneath some sort of spiritual judgment right now that's for sure for the nasty fuck shit they've been doing behind the scenes that whole ass nasty shit that they've been doing yeah, just, what did I say? They under justice right now for the nasty ass, whole ass shit they been doing behind the scenes. This whole ass, nasty ass shit they been doing. Because they on some dark magic, dark, I mean like even if this person is just talking trash about you. But I don't feel like they just talking trash. I feel like they actually doing shit. They taking action. Either they, uh... I think they, they I, what I feel is somebody trying to get with your dude. They trying to either get with your dude, they trying to get with your girl. They trying to figure out a way to get at your person. Like literally tear your shit down. Like tear your marriage up. Tear your relationship up. Tear, mess your money up. You know what I mean? And they doing it in a way that's underhanded and sneaky and nasty. Like right in the middle, right in the fucking front of your face type shit. And I feel like maybe you sleeping on it. Like maybe you don't even recognize the betrayal that's right here in front of your face three of cups yo i'm telling you this bitch is sitting up here looking at your shit like she like look i'm telling you this chick right here her this chick right here you see how she's sipping on that cup y'all over here like oh i just got my cup whatever case may be but this bitch is sipping it look at the look on her face though i'm just saying she look like she on some fuck ass scheming ass bullshit like she want to drink her shit she want to you know, I don't know. Like, ew, if something about sipping it, she want to drink the shit. Not, it's almost like have your cake and eat your, have your cake and eat it too type shit. Five of cups. Because she really feel fucked up about her own damn life. But when this goddamn spiritual ass kicking come in because of the nonchalance that she been doing, oh, she gonna wish she hadn't and never did that shit. Yeah, King of Wands gonna make her ass feel stupid as the fuck. Ooh. See, I was making sure. See, King of Wands 
is going to be challenged by this situation because she a queen of wands. She's sexy. She pretty. She attractive. Whatever the case may be. And I think that whoever this, this person going to come and get at your dude and your dude going to be like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit and going to make their ass feel dumb as shit. I think they probably even going to bust their ass out to you and let you know, man, look, let me tell you how your girl just came at me for sure. King of Pentacles. He gonna tell her, dude, yo, look, yo, dude, she not married, but she fucking with somebody. Yeah, she not married, but she fucking with somebody. She not married. Nine of Pentacles. She not married, but she fucking with somebody. Yeah. But something about it. If she got money, how is she envious? Because y'all got more. Yeah. He gonna walk away from her ass. He gonna walk away from her ass. He gonna leave her ass just like that. And she gonna be in regret. Spirit, can you please clarify the four cups, the four swords, four swords. So she is your friend that's trying to get at your dude. And your dude know her dude. And he gonna tell her dude and he gonna walk away. So somebody that you know that's in your friend group know that you've been knowing for a long time we like since childhood type of shit is jealous and envious of you and your husband maybe you married and y'all feel like look like y'all got the life like i said the fortune and the money and the blessing and anything y'all touch turn to gold type shit y'all like y'all got the mightiest touch like type shit y'all shit is just that and she envious maybe because she been dating this dude could be for a while and it ain't she ain't got no ring on it and but for some reason she want to come against your dude maybe because she wants you to be single too type shit i don't know but whatever the case may be she wants to fuck up your shit ten of swords energy to you and you sleeping on it with the four of swords look nine of swords but it's challenged over the four of swords you not coming in fast and hot you not angry you not Uh, I almost hear like not emotionally checked out kind of like you not paying attention to what this person is really doing. Eight of Pentacles, you working too much. You kind of sleep because you work and it's not resting, but you sleep like you don't see what's happening. I think that if you realize what was happening and how this person was really, yeah, illusions, you sleep to what's happening for real. Six of Wands. This person is casting illusions, though. I feel like with this moon energy, either they're not going to see this person walk away from them. Maybe they don't think that they will. Maybe she feel like that she got um, spell magic on this person, too, where she could just do what she want to do. Five looks. Conflict. Conflict. Fighting. Yeah. But I don't know if y'all used to fight over stuff in the past. Or maybe something happened in the past, but the conflict is either in the past or it's over. Is it in the past? Is it over? It's not over. It's just in the past. Something happened in the past. It feels like it's an undercurrent still. Maybe you work with this person. Or she work with somebody or the, the fellas work together. No, she just working against you. 
you feel like it's somebody that you can have equal give and take with, but you can't, or right, this person is going to give back what they gave out. That's for sure. They finna give back a whole bunch of fucking burdens and problems and issues. And that's the truth, yo, for real. They, um, cause you prepared, you got the key. It's something that is being gifted onto you to prepare you. That's that key against this devil toxicity that's in the reverse now. That's this ace of wands. You got the key to this whole thing. And it could be the fact that when she go after your dude and he turn around, what did I say? Five of swords win at any cost. When she go after your dude, the shit is going to come to light. And the person that she really been fucking up with, uh, uh, that's, that she been dealing with, like her dude. Because you married to somebody and y'all got a long-term friend that's always trying to throw their shit up in everybody else's face. But she doing it in a way to kind of entice your dude to fuck with her so she could fuck up your marriage because of whatever shit that went on in the past. And she been working on this shit for a minute. Trying different tactics, I feel, to try and figure out how to entice your dude. And however she try to do this shit, your dude gonna tell her dude. And when that shit come to light, he gonna be like, fuck you. And that's just gonna be a King of Swords type of energy. And my phone is getting ready to die, so we gonna have to wrap this up. Is there anything else you would like to say? Yes. She gonna be mad as shit. Because now the cups is in reverse. Anything else? This, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords, Nine of Cups is in reverse, Ten of Cups. You probably going to cut her ass out when, once you figure out what happened to So not only is she going to lose her dude, she going to lose her relationship with you. And, yeah, Queen of Cups is in reverse. You're going to turn into the queen of swords on that ass and cut her motherfucking head off. So she's going to lose her dude and she's going to lose her friendship. Serves her ass right for being on some hoe ass nasty ass shit. On this shit right here. Gotta go, y'all. Don't be on hoe shit. It just ain't worth it. To the next now, Ashe. Mm -hmm.